Have you ever been in a presentation and you're, you had no idea how the audience was feeling, what they were thinking, and maybe yourself was joining a meeting remotely and you wanted to ask a question, but you were too shy to put it in the chat for everybody to see. Well, if you've ever felt like that, you were in that situation, you're in luck because today I will be showing you a presentation tool that you can use to avoid all of those awkward moments and take your presentation to the next level by creating a meaningful two-way conversation using Slido. Today, I will cover what is Slido. We will be, I will be demonstrating some Slido features and expect you guys to all participate, hopefully. And then I will summarize some of the features that we've gone over. What is Slido? Slido is actually an online polling and Q&A platform that you can embed within your PowerPoint slides or Google slides, and there's a couple other platforms that, that they are embedded with. It helps you create that conversation with your audience, whether you're in person, remote, or a combination of both. To get started, how does it work? I'm gonna ask all of you to join me in this Slido presentation. I've put a link in the chat you can use your phone to scan the QR code, or you can type in slido.com and enter in the, the meeting information. You'll notice as I go through this that it actually has uh, the connection information in all of the slides that have a Slido poll. And essentially, Slido allows us to enter Q&A at any point in time. So you'll see when you log in that there is already a Q&A available. And then there will be poll polls. The polls will be active as I move through the different polls. So first up, in one to two words, what do you think is the major challenge with presenting online? I can see we have some people typing at the top, at the top left, and then on the top right, you can see that we already have two responses. This, what you see, is a word cloud. The word cloud allows you to capture people's thoughts and ideas in a beautiful word collage. If anybody else uses the same word, so example, technology, if someone else puts in technology, then the word actually gets bigger and it dynamically grows. So you can see what are the same issues that other people might have. Now it is very case sensitive. So you'll wanna make sure that if you were using this, people understand how it works. There's also the option when you use this to allow people to submit multiple answers or limit them to one. So I've allowed people to submit multiple. I'm gonna move on to the next option is the multiple choice. Here you can learn about your audience's preferences and opinions. Now this poll, I've asked you, why do you participate in Toastmasters? You'll notice that you don't immediately see the results. That is also one of the other things you can do in Slido. You can have the results show up immediately or you can have it show up on a click. Another thing that you can do is insert these stunning photos like Powder Toastman to enhance your questions. So I see that we have eight responses based on the, the top. So I'll click and we can see that Nobody's here for a fun lunch, right? But everybody wants to gain communication skills. So that's great. Let's move on to the next slide. So some other types of polls we have are ranking polls and open text polls. The ranking polls lets you have your audience put a series of answers in order of importance or preference. And again, you can have them select multiple or only select one. And the open text poll is more of if you have an open-ended question, instead of maybe using the word cloud, you want them to use multiple words or longer texts. Um, this is the only one that I saw that actually has limitations of 5,000 responses. So the last poll option we have is the rating poll. This allows your audience to, to rate on a scale of one to 10. In this instance, I've used one to five. So I'll ask you, how would you rate your Slido's ability to engage your audience? Now you can see at the top right, you can put what, what the low means, what the high means. This is really useful if you're looking for a quick piece of feedback from your audience or you wanna do a pulse check and really just figure out what is the effectiveness of your meeting. But 
the fun part. Get excited because Slido also offers live quizzing. They have an option to do random question generator, which I've used. And so we will go through three random questions. You can set the duration of how long you want people to respond. And you can also announce a winner at the end of each question or just at the end of the quiz. So for the quiz, we have kissing someone for one minute burns two calories, true or false? And I may have clicked into the quiz too quick. We got three response for, all right. The answer is true. Who is Batman? Bruce Wayne, <laughs> somebody <laughs> got that one wrong. And how many kilobytes in, a, in one gigabyte? I think that's a million. So uh, <laughs> we have a tie of correct answers between Whoever wrote their name is true and whoever wrote their name is false. <laughs> but as you can see, if we had more time, I would have given you more time to learn how to use some of these um, functionalities. Again, there was the Q&A that was available at the beginning. I already pre-populated with a question from Curious George. You can upvote them. You can sort them by popularity, recent, oldest. Q&A is there for people to use. But in summary, I just want to say Slido is a great way to get your audience involved. We went through five different polling options that Slido has. I demonstrated the quiz, how you can use audience Q of A. And I just wanted to point out that it's free. Now, the free package doesn't have as many bells as whistles as you might have if you were in, say, um, a corporate licensing like we are. And I just want to say that if you're taking if you're looking to take your presentation to the next level, you should check out Slido.